come to them, they try to grab a hearing, they try to make a hearing of what is being said, and then when they hear something, they go down to the soothsayers and the fortune tellers and their likes from the Bani Adam, and then they go to them, and you know they 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 they, they inform them of what they what they've heard. And but Allah, the mighty and majestic, He has protected the heaven by way of these uh, meteors, uh, which you know which 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 come from these stars. And so what they do is they 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 they, they, they are hurled at these rebellious devils and they cause them to perish and die. And this occurred especially after the time of the sending of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because the heaven was protected. Right? At the time of the sending of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu the heaven was protected by way of these uh, meteors. And just as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says uh, regarding the jinn or quoting from the jinn, narrating the jinn, وَأَنَّا كُنَّا نَقْعُدُ مِنْهَا مَقَاعِدَ لِلسَّمْعِ فَمَنْ يَسْتَمِعْ فَمَنْ يَسْتَمِعْ الْآنْ يَجِدْ لَهُ شِحَابًا رَسَدًا وَأَنَّا لَا نَدْرِي أَشَّرٌ أُرِيدَ بِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَمْ أَرَادَ بِهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ رَشَدًا So the jinn said that we used to sit we used to sit lying in wait in order to hear however whoever tries to hear or to listen now then he will find a blazing or a hurling you know, meteor and we do not know whether evil is intended for those upon the earth or whether, uh, whether their Lord intends for them guidance. So by way of the statement, these jinn, they were kind of amazed or they, 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 they you know, were, were surprised at the, at, at the level of this protection of the, of the heaven by way of these meteors. And this in essence was in order to allow the coming of the, or, or the sending, it's something that allowed and permitted the, the sending of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the sense that the skies were, were guarded and protected. The second, uh, the third benefit, as is said by Qatada, وَعَلَامَاتٌ يُحْتَدَى بِهَا أو عَلَامَاتٍ يُحْتَدَى بِهَا That these are signs by which people can guide themselves with. And then the Shaykh brings an ayah, وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَن تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ مُؤَنْحَارًا وَصُبُلًا لَأَلَّكُمْ تَحْتَدُونَ وَعَلَامَاتٍ وَبِالنَّجْمِهُمْ يَحْتَدُونَ That Allah has fixed in the earth mountains lest that, it, lest that it may shake with you and rivers and paths that you may guide yourselves with and signs and with, with the stars do they guide themselves. So in these two verses Allah has explained or how Allah has made for the travelers certain signs by which they can find their location and places in, 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 in the earth and likewise certain signs in the heaven as for those which are in the earth then they are like for example the paths and the, you know, the, mountain, the mountain paths that you see between mountains and things of that nature that Allah has placed in the earth and likewise mountains and very clear like signposts that people can see and gain direction with so that this is what is found in uh, the earth and as for the heaven then there are the stars and the sun and the moon and by way of these three the people can basically direct and find their way during their you know, journeys especially in the seas because in the seas you don't have any mountains you don't have any other, other signs so therefore in, in, in this one, when the people are on the sea in the night time they can look at the stars and from the stars they can know the various directions and specifically the direction that they want to uh, travel towards and so for this reason the Sheikh says that with the stars and likewise the sun and the moon you can determine the direction of the Qibla because uh, by, way, by looking at these stars and the sun and the moon uh, it's possible to determine the, the direction towards uh, the, the Qibla and the Sheikh says that this is from the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the creation of these stars and then the Sheikh says as for any person who tries to go beyond these three affairs and tries to add anything to these three affairs which Allah has mentioned in his book then it is just as Qatada said فَمَنْ تَأَوَّلَ غَيْرَ ذَلِكَ أَخْتَعَ that whoever tried to interpret anything other than this meaning other than these three then he has erred because Allah didn't create these stars for any other reason besides these three and because this person is someone who is trying to interpret and carry the purpose of the stars upon something for which they weren't even created for in the first place 
Like, for example, a person might believe that they indicate or that they point to certain occurrences in the earth, or um, such as, for example, the uh, sending of the wind, or the, you know, the, the coming down of the rain, or the death of a person, or the birth of a person, or you know, uh, someone being successful in a particular affair, or someone being unsuccessful in a particular affair, then all of this is from a fabrication and you know, exaggeration, um, and it's from just mere guess, you know, guesswork and conjecture and claiming knowledge of the unseen, which Allah has sent down no authority for. And the Shaykh says that the stars do not indicate any of this because they weren't created for this purpose. And this, rather all of these affairs that have been mentioned, meaning sending of the rain and the wind and the death of a, or the death of a person or the life of a person and the success or the failure of, of people in certain affairs, then all of that returns back to uh, the, the knower of the unseen, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is meant by Qatada when he says, فَمَنْ تَأَوَّلَ that whoever interpreted uh, then what it means is that anyone who believed regarding these stars other than these three things then such a person has erred and then Qatada said وَأَدَاعَ نَسِيبَهُ meaning what this means that he has wasted his share meaning that he has wasted his portion of the religion and this as the Sheikh says that this necessitates that he has disbelieved you know, he displeased that if he ascribes to these stars any other a meaning, a meaning which you know entails uh, kufr and shirk, then this person would you know it, it would necessitate that he has left his religion. And then Qatada said, "Wa ma la ilma lahu bihi," and he has taken upon himself that of which he has no knowledge. Meaning that this that he's now delving into is just mere guessing, conjecture, uh, surmising, suspicion, and so on and so forth. Um, and the likes of these affairs, meaning these guesswork and conjecture and whatever, this does not avail anything against the truth. And so this is the narration, this is the statement of um, Qatada. And then Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab continues and he says that Qatada, he used to dislike the learning of the phases of the moon. Um, the, you know, the learning of the lunar phases. And likewise, Ibn Uyayna, Ibn Uyayna, he did not permit the learning of this knowledge either. And this has been mentioned by Harb from both Qatada and Ibn Yayna. However, another group of people, they actually allowed the learning of the lunar phases, as is narrated from Ahmed and Ishaq, Ishaq bin Rahawi and Ahmed bin Hanbal. And concerning this, Sheikh says that uh, Sufyan ibn Yayna, uh, who is the well-known Imam and the Muhaddith um, do, not, do not permit the learning of the uh, lunar phases and what is meant by the lunar phases here is Sheikh explains is that the various points at which the moon sets in a given month and Sheikh says that they are 28 in number they are 28 in number there are 14 of them which are in the direction of Yemen so obviously if we imagine that we're in Mecca then fa facing Yemen that would be south so there are 14 that land or that set in the south and 14 that set towards the north. Uh, here it mentions Shamiya meaning towards Sham, so which from Mecca or Medina would be towards the north. So uh, every night the moon sets at a certain place, uh, either in the north or to the south, and w at, at the point at which it sets, it coincides with a certain star or with a certain group of stars or a certain star in fact and every month when it sets it, co it kind of co it coincides with that same star right so, it, 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 so, so, so th these various points basically they are used to determine um, you know the, the, the various uh, setting points and it can, it can also be used to determine direction and so the Sheikh says Sheikh then explains that this is what is meant and he says that uh, the question is that is it permissible to learn this knowledge in order to know the reckoning, meaning the reckoning of the time and the Sheikh says there are two statements <coughs> there, are, there are two viewpoints the first viewpoint is the saying of Qatada and Sufyan bin Uyayna as we've seen and this is the view that it is prohibited because the Sheikh says um, 